In this video, you will see that how ROS system works. You will see the different steps which are involved in the ROS farming operation. When you think about fish farming, the picture of pond or sea cage comes in the mind. But ROS farming is different. The fish is raised in the indoor tanks under controlled environment. It is somewhat similar to the way chickens are raised in the modern environmentally controlled facilities. But wait, what is Ross farming? As the name suggests, the water recirculate in the system so that the fish is formed in the same water by recirculating it several times. So how does the Ross fish farming works? The water is recirculated multiple times with a gradual addition of new water in the system. All the Ross processes involve several technologies, which we are going to discuss further. The fish is placed in the water tanks and the water goes to different filters. The water discharge from the fish tanks goes to the mechanical filter and this water have feed particles and fish poo in it. Because fish live in the same water and poo in the same water and also eat in the same water. Interesting, right? Let's get back to the topic. As you know, when the fish is fed with feed, it does not eat all the feed. The leftover feed goes to mechanical filter and of course with the fish poo together. The mechanical filter then filtrate all these solid particles and water apparently comes out clean for the next step. The water, which is now without any solids, comes to the next step, which is called biofiltration. In this step, the biofiltration is done with the help of biofilters. The biofilters removes the ammonia out of water because ammonia is harmful for the water environment where the fish is living. This ammonia is then used up by the good bacteria which convert it into nitrogen and it is then released to the air without causing any harmful impact on the water quality. The water at this stage is not completely ready to be sent back to the fish tanks. In this step of gas removal, the different harmful gases like carbon dioxide and nitride are removed with the help of degassing technology. After the removal of dangerous gases, the oxygen is added to the water with the help of oxygenation technologies so that the water could be ready to be used by fish when it goes back to the tanks. After going through all these steps, the water is reintroduced to the tanks and the process continues several times with some new water addition at the same time. Hope you have enjoyed learning about the ROS and all this information we have compiled related to the land-based fish farming or ROS farming is not uh, something you can take as uh, the golden rule. There are many different aspects which you need to master before you can be completely confident about going into that direction of ras farming and land-based fish farming because the costs are so high and the risks are so high. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video.